Hi, this is Kurt from Parts Classic showing you our new CDI test tool. Last time we looked at a 6-pin CDI system on an 86 911 Turbo. Today we are testing a 3-pin CDI on a 1970 T. So first we're going to test the system at rest. We're going to remove the coil wire and we're going to press the push for start button which is going to test the CDI function and the coil function and everything is passing at this time. For the next test we have used our extension harness which allows us to test the CDI operation while in the driver's compartment. Now we're going to start the car. We can see by the three red lights illuminated that though the CDI system passed the test without the car running, it is now failing the CDI power and ground and trigger input tests. This is what an intermittent fault looks like. The power indicator and ground indicator and trigger indicators are moving from green to red. If I lift the engine RPM, which places more load on the ignition system, the lights will all turn red. This is indicating a intermittent failure. What the tool has shown us is that even though when the vehicle was first tested, the CDI system passed, when the engine is running and it was under load, it was a failure. We were able to test further on the circuits indicated as failing and found multiple wiring failure points. The biggest failure we found was voltage drop in the plus 15, which is your ignition circuit, power supply to the CDI. That was over a half volt of voltage drop from the batteries to the CDI. By using the test tool, even on a car that is, appears to be running well, we can identify a failure before it leaves the vehicle stranded on the side of the road.